hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step process on how you can set up your projects in javafx so if you're just getting started with javafx and you need some sort of like guide on how you should properly set up your projects or even if you've used javafx before and you need a refresher this video is just for you so please don't leave hit the like button hit the subscribe button share this video with your friends and let's get straight into it okay so the first thing you want to do is to install an ide so if you don't know what an ide is it's basically a piece of software that lets you write your code in an easier way it has more features compared to a traditional text editor like notepad so there's like a bunch of IDEs out there for writing javafx code like um eclipse netbeans vs code but i'll say the best ide right now in the markets is intellij it makes it easy to write javafx code right out of the box so you don't really need to do much configurations just get it installed and you're good to go so intellij has two versions there's a free version and there's a paid version there's really not much difference between both versions so you can definitely get up to speed using the free version or the community version and that's what we're going to be using for this video so what you need to do is go to IntelliJ's so what you need to do is go onto IntelliJ's website search for IntelliJ idea community version download it install it and we can continue okay so if you've installed IntelliJ and you've opened it the first thing you're gonna see is this page so what you want to do is click on this button for new project and you have this pop-up with like a bunch of options so you have the option to create a java project a kotlin project groovy python and then below that you can see some other options so what you want to do is click on java effects and then at this side you can see some options that you need to fill out so the first thing is a name so for this video i'm just gonna call it tutorial the next thing you want to do is choose the location for your project i'll just leave it as it is and then below that you, there's this option to create a guest repository so i'm gonna leave that unchecked but basically what this does is that it automatically creates a git repository in the project so Git is used for like tracking and version control if you don't know what that is and then below that you choose the language we we'll leave it on java because we are we are writing java code but you can actually like create you can actually like write javafx applications in kotlin or groovy but it's going to be in java for this tutorial and then below that we have the build system maven or grid the build system is basically a tool that helps you automate the process of you know building your javafx applications you know like managing your dependencies um compiling your code packaging your classes running tests and deploying the app so once we like go further into this tutorial you get like a better idea of what the build system does so for now we'll just stick with maven because it's the more popular build system and it's easier to use i use maven i don't really use gradle so leave it at maven and then the group so the group this is just like metadata for identifying your project and ideally this group should be your company's domain name so if you work for github for example it's gonna be org .github. let's just leave this as is for now it doesn't really matter same thing for as effects i don't really care much about that and then right below that we choose our java version so this is very important you need to choose like a good and stable version of java so i think i'll just stick with java 17 but of course you could pick 23 i think i'll pick 23 instead so let's go with 23 and right here we click next um and then it gives you like these options so these are like additional libraries but we don't really have to worry about this so just ignore this and click create yes. 
it yay so we've created our first javafx projects from scratch congratulations so i'll just be i'll just briefly go over each class and some of the folders here just in case you're a bit confused you know like what is this what is this what is this so this section right here is your projects view and it's basically like um the structure of your folders and all the classes and files in your projects so the first folder we have here is a dots idea folder this is not so important it's just basically um it's just basically intelligence way of storing your project settings and all of that so you don't need to worry about this you're not writing any code or creating any classes in this it's just ignore that and below that we have this dot mvn folder so the files in this folder are also configuration files but they're like related to the build tool maven build tool that we discussed earlier so you don't really need to pay much attention to this it's just you know properties file or the jar file and then below that is our source folder so this is the important folder because within this folder we have our main um folder java folder and then our package so all of your code is going to be going in your java folder you can see we have a a package created here for us called example.tutorial and within that we have these two classes i'm going to be talking about in a moment we have this um module info.java which is just a file for you know managing some of your modules not so important you know um and then below that we have our resources folder and so your fxml files css files every file that has to like do with design and, and not necessarily like the classes will go into your resources folder and you can see we also have a similar package structure like in the java folder so come to example the tutorial and then in that we have we have our hello view.fxml file right here and then bef below our source folder we have this target folder so the target folder is where your compiled classes are going to be stored in so when you run your application and then java um, compiles your classes your dot class files are actually going to be stored here in your target folder so let's just go into the main java okay so so this is why i actually love intellij it's because it doesn't let you start building from scratch you know it gives you some better play code like gives you some classes and it's like a very nice way to you know start coding instead of having to you know write everything from scratch you write boiler play code you already have a template so what is this class hello application this class is the entry point of your application so you can see we have a main method so we do that by creating a new fxml loader object we pass in the path to our fxml file so you can notice here we're calling hello application the class the gary source. so what this does is that it tells java to hey look into our resources folder for our fxml file and you're gonna find it there so if you notice earlier i said all our design related files like your fxml files your css files and even like static files like your images should always go into your resources folder so right here you can see we have a hello view fxml and in our code we tell java to look there and load the fxml file from there and then after that we also create a new scene we pass in the fxml loader variable calling the dot load method on it so you can see below that we create a new scene passing in the fxml loader variable we created and we also call the dot load method so what that basically does is that it loads the fxml file and then we also pass in a width and a height and then after that we set the title for the stage we set the scene and then we show the stage so i'm just going to demonstrate this for you guys and run the application Okay, so while the application is running, I just um, discovered that I didn't actually show you guys how you can run your application. So there's a bunch of ways you can do that. So the easiest way is to actually, okay, let me just stop this so I can show you guys. 
okay so the easiest way is just to come up here um at the title section and you see this play button you click on it another way you can also do it is like i did earlier just now by clicking this play button also here beside the main method signature but the easiest way and the most common way is just to go up to the title bar and click on this button you can see there's a shortcut for that which is shift f10 to run the application so just click that yay application runs so this is just like a basic application like i said intellij you know creates some stuff for us so we don't have to start from scratch so we can see we have a button that says hello you can see the title here says hello you know from this method remember we set the title here in this method stage the set title to hello so if we like change it to something else it will get um changed on the title bar yeah so you can see we just have this button that says hello so if you click on that button you can see we have this text so pretty much anytime you create a javafx application in intellij this is the same structure you're gonna get by default so the text the button everything is gonna be the same because like i said intellij creates some starter code for you to work with yeah so let's talk about this other class the controller class so basically controller classes are classes you use to modify elements in your design your fxml file so each fxml file should have a controller for changing the um graphic elements in the fxml file so let's say for example in our fxml file right here you can see it's just a basic fxml file we um a label and a button and a v box right so if you if you've not used fxml before or you don't know what this is fxml is basically this markup language that was created by the javafx devs to make it easier to you know design your applications so instead of having to you know create a v box so instead of having to you know create a v box um object in your java code and you know having to do with all of that you can basically just separate your code for the design into an fxml file using this format so it's pretty similar to you know html in the sense that it has like opening tags closing tags and if you've used html before you'll find it's easy to you know grasp so we just have a label here a button and this label has an fx id so what's an fx id so fx id is basically a reference you give to your fxml components here that you can later use in your controller class so the name so the fx id given to this label is welcome text and if we go to our controller class you can see we have a welcome text variable with an fxml annotation so basically this label variable right here this private label variable right here is mapped to this fxml label control so you can see we can make changes to this um label control right here from our controller class and that's exactly what and that's exactly what was done when we clicked the button earlier so if you notice when we click the button the text changed to welcome to javafx application and you can see right here that there's a method for that called on hello button click and in this method i'll just make it more visible yeah and in this method we call the set text method on our label variable and we pass in this string welcome to javafx application and we change the text it's as easy as that so using your controller classes with the as fxml annotation because this is very important in order for java to properly map your variables in your controller class to your to your fxml controls you must have this fxml annotation so this is very important but it's pretty much easy you know we just call this method right here but also remember we didn't call the method until the button was clicked so you're probably wondering wait how did we make sure that the method was only when the button was clicked i'll explain so going back to our fxml file 
and we look at this button we have this um, button control with a text attribute of hello because if you remember at first the text said hello and then we also have this on action attributes hmm what does this do what do you think it does you probably guessed it right it takes the name of a and runs the code in that method when the button is clicked right so you can see the name here is on hello button click which is the name of our method right here so when this button is clicked the code in the method gets run so let's say for example we here and we add a print line method for example so let's you know add a print line my first direct so another thing about IntelliJ is it has excellent code completion so you can see as I was typing it suggests you know it suggests the end of the statement and I can just hit tab and it completes so that's really really cool so let's run our app again and you can see that when I click the button the text will change and then this text so what you notice is when I click the button the text will change and this text will get printed into the console so my first JavaFX application we printed so just watch click hello you can see the text changed and if we go and look into our console you can see wow my first JavaFX application so it's pretty pretty it's like really really nice and you can have like a bunch of methods and it doesn't just have to be this method I could have changed the into whatever you just have to make sure that the name here is consistent with the name in here or else you get a bunch of nasty errors so another thing you probably notice is that there's a hashtag in front of the method name so it's like that's pretty much JavaFX syntax you just have to put the hashtag in front of the method name it's just the way the they designed the fxml um, language but just make sure you have that and everything perfectly so i guess that's pretty much about it um thank you for watching this video congratulations on um creating your first javafx project if this video was helpful was helpful to you please drop a like comment subscribe share this video with anyone you know that is also into like making apps in javafx and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye